As someone who's logged uh, just under 300 hours on VR chat, I find it interesting that there was one thing in particular that I consistently came across when talking with individuals uh, all across the world, uh, and that was social anxiety. Uh, turns out a lot of people, in fact, who play VR chat uh, claim to have social anxiety. Uh, if you go through, you know, just any scrolling of VR chat, um, there's, there's different YouTubers that actually, you know, interview people on VR chat and they all share, you know, deep, personal, intimate stories, you know, stories that, you know, maybe they wouldn't necessarily, you know, share in the real life. There's something about VR chat that just opens people up. It just makes you want to, you know, say what's on your mind. It, it allows you to kind of uh, break down a certain barrier that for some reason people just can't get over um, when it comes to the real life. Now, that being said, I think that this is one of the best things about VR chat. If I was to recommend it to someone else, besides, you know, just the purely social aspect of, of meeting people from all over the world, one of the great things about it is its way uh, in that it allows you to deal with social anxiety. And what I mean by that is it's a completely free open area to test out all your different strategies that you want to have for talking with different people. And the cool thing is if, you know, if things get awkward, if things get tense, you can just leave the world. You can go to another world. Like it, it literally doesn't matter because you know, it's, it's a game. Now at the same time, I've met people who say that the reason they play VR chat is because they wanted to better their social skills. They, they, you know, they weren't accomplishing as much as they could in the real world. And so they turned to VR chat to basically better themselves. And I think that's so cool. And I think that's one of the greatest things about video games and and in particular virtual reality. Now, why is it that, um, you know, specifically VR chat that people are going to? Well, I think it's a couple reasons. First and foremost, you know, you're not yourself when you play VR chat in the sense of your physical presence isn't there. So obviously if you have a VR headset, yeah, you can still feel people, but you know, it is virtual. You know, you're not actually making eye contact with someone. You're, you're looking into another person's avatar. At the same time, you know, you don't really care what you look like. I could be dressed up in a onesie and other people playing VR could all be in suits and you wouldn't, you wouldn't know because our avatars would be like, I'm Sonic, they're Sonic, he's a hedgehog, you know, he's a banana, he's a cucumber. It's like, you, you have different avatars, so you can you can hide behind your avatar. Um, but a cooler thing about that is, you know, rather than looking at it as hiding behind an avatar, you know, people can customize their avatars, people can make avatars that they feel like are even more themselves than their real person. Now, I can get into another video about escapism and uh, the negative connotations of VR chat, but I think in large part, there are a lot of positives for this because, you know, I I can say, you know, I'm, I'm not someone who really struggled with social anxiety in the way that maybe other people did. I, I don't know if I would classify myself as that because I can pretty much talk to almost everybody and I'm, I'm fine just making casual conversation. I'm, I don't get all, all nervous and stuff. Um, now this of course is different if I'm talking to someone I like or maybe someone I have a crush on, you know, obviously you get those feelings and that's, that's kind of a different story. But for the people who do struggle with social anxiety, um, I can highly recommend that you try out VR chat because, um, you know, there's, there's low risk involved. You're, you're not actually, you know, seeing these people in real life they're not seeing the real you so there's no like downside to that if anything they might recognize your username and they'll be like oh yeah look lizard boy 69 um i remember that one time you stuttered that was cool anyway so as, as i was saying but i would just say you know as, as a tip to everyone uh struggling with social anxiety and um that's you know you're using vr chat as a way to help you uh i would try to take the focus off of yourself a lot of the time people uh, come to me and they say like, oh, I have social anxiety or, you know, I have a really hard time talking with other people. I have a really hard time when it comes to conversations. I can't think of anything to say. And I feel like this is one of the core problems with social anxiety is it's a lot of focus on yourself. And it's not in a selfish way. And I'm not bashing people who struggle with social anxiety because, you know, it is, it is, a, it is an, a, a certified problem and it's not anything to be ashamed of, but I just wanna make you all recognize that if you take the focus off yourself, if you don't have all these me thoughts like, oh, I'm gonna embarrass myself, oh, what do they think of me? 
uh, turn the conversation instead around on other people. And I would say, moreover, become a really good question asker. If you're really good at asking questions, if you're really good at getting interested in what other people have to say, guess what? You're going to be a fantastic conversationalist because you literally barely have to say anything besides your questions. I would be hard pressed, especially now in today's time where a lot of people are isolated, lonely. I'd be hard pressed to find people who don't like talking about what they're passionate about, what their hobbies are, you know, what's on their mind. Everybody likes to be asked questions. Everybody likes to be called out by name. If someone was like, hey, Austin, like, tell me about this. Like, what's your opinion on that? Like, and, and they just listen, like, that's awesome. That's fantastic. So if you're struggling with social anxiety, uh, especially when it comes to VR chat, take the focus off of yourself. Um, bring it onto other people, ask them questions. I had a friend uh, in VR chat and one of his sayings was, what's your lore? He was like, so, so what's your lore? Like, tell me, tell me your backstory. And he, he'd say this consistently to a lot of people on different worlds. And like 80% of the time, these people would just open up. And again, that's just one of the cool things about VR chat is I, I don't know like why, but lots and lots of people are very much willing to open up. Lots of people have things they want to share. Lots of people, you know, have been through stressful times, have been through maybe traumatic experiences. Uh, they're, they, you know, they're nervous, you know, everybody's a little nervous. Everybody, you know, struggles with certain things. And um, when you take the focus off of yourself and you put it onto other people and you kind of let them run the show for a bit, that that just opens up so many doors to you. And I, and I feel like a lot of people just don't have that kind of train of thought. A lot of people feel like the conversation always has to come from you. You always have to be the idea generator. And it's like this and this and this. And it's, it's so much pressure on yourself. I'd say to turn that around. Turn that focus on other people. You know, put the pressure on other people. If you're feeling the pressure, put it on someone else. You know, um, you know if you, if you look around at people who are having really good conversations or how conversations get started, it's it's most of the time it's one of two ways one way it's someone asking someone else a question like hey so how's your day going or hey that's a new avatar i like that um the second thing is you just make a statement and the thing is is like you don't have to say something that's necessarily extravagant you don't have to come up with this big hypothesis thesis statement like oh the other day i realized that apples are actually you know this circumference and you don't you don't need to say that you can literally say something super mundane and guess what me saying I blew out my tire the other day while in traffic because you know I ran a red light me just saying that could trigger in someone else's mind things that have to do with cars things that have to do with traffic things that have to do with blowing out your tire you know so so misfortune accidents everything in that genre it, it's like the other person doesn't necessarily have to to carry the conversation just about that, it could just remind them of something else. So I might just make another video to help everyone struggling, uh, specifically in VR chat, but maybe also in life, those of you str uh, uh, struggling with social anxiety, I wanna help you guys and I wanna make everyone a, you know, a powerful conversationalist. And uh, one of the ways that you can do that is through active listening and being someone who's, who's a curious person, being someone who likes to ask questions because you'll find out very quickly, people love to talk about themselves. It, it's, I, I can't remember the person's name, um, but they said, it was a quote, and they said that people's favorite sound is the sound of their own name. Yeah, but I, I mean, it's not supposed to like boggle your mind or anything, <laughs> but take it as you will. Uh, that being said, for those of you struggling with social anxiety, please check out VR chat give it a try. Um, I think you might find it's, it's, um, it's a good experience. Thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully this will be a series of me helping you all uh, and we can all help each other. Uh, those of you down in the comments, if you want to share why you joined VR chat, if you want to share about um, your social anxiety and maybe how you improved it or, you know, how VR chat has helped you, that'd be awesome. If you have other tactics, if people are good uh, conversationalists down in chat, uh, please share. What are some of your tactics? How do you get conversations started? How do you get rid of, you know, those initial butterflies? You know, what's, what are you, what, what did you maybe turn 
what, what did you like, uh, what was your weak point and how did you turn it into your strength? You know, that, all that kind of stuff. Uh, more than welcome down in the chat. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.